Um, firstly, thanks very much everyone for coming to this meeting. I hope everybody's had a chance to um, check out our leaflet. There's a few copies on, on every seat and um, I hope everyone has had time to take in what we're about. Um, we've, we invited the uh, Electoral Commission to come to this meeting and they've sent an officer here so hopefully whatever points people may, may make to make will make their way to the Commission eventually. But um, I just want to start by asking the question, can anyone remember a time when electoral reform hasn't been on the agenda in Jersey? Um, as somebody that's relatively young, I haven't, I haven't been involved in politics for that long, and even I have lost track at all the times there's been propositions that have been and gone to reform the states, and how each and every one of them has either failed or managed to get through and proven to be incredibly unpopular amongst the people of Jersey. Um, the states has tried more times than you can count to reform itself, and each time it's failed. So many are likely to ask the question, what is the point in just another futile exercise for reform in Jersey? So we've set up Reform Jersey to be a non-politically affiliated group that's going to try and make the best out of the situation that we find ourselves in and make sure that reform is led by the public and not the states, because it's our opinion as members of the public that matters here, not the states of Jersey. This means that we want to encourage the uh, public to write into the Commission and remind them what their purpose is, what they're there for, and so that we can demand meaning, meaningful reform. Because this is about improving Jersey's democracy. There's no guarantee that this will happen if people just roll over and let the state's vested interests take hold. So then we have to ask the question, what should our reform look like? And time and time again, various reforms have been proposed or rejected and then <coughs> all got through and found to be unpopular. So what we think it's important to do is to not start looking at the specific reforms that can be made, but instead start with the guiding principles behind what we want to do, so that from there we can make sure that every reform that's proposed is compatible with these principles. And of course the overarching principle behind all of this is democracy. The purpose of a representative democracy is to ensure that everyone's voice is equally heard and valued. And if you agree with that premise, then the status quo that we have now is simply unacceptable. It's unacceptable that we have some types of states member that represent more people than others. It's unacceptable that some people in certain uh, constituencies have the same number of representatives as the constituencies next door to them, even though their population is completely different. And so Reform Jersey believes that whatever reform we have, a democratic system has to include these three principles. The first one should be that every politician should have the same population in their district. The second one is that the system has to be simple and user friendly. And the third one is that every voter should have the same number of votes no matter where they live in the island. The current system doesn't encompass any of these principles. It's not fair that some people get more votes than others depending on where they live. It's not fair that some people have fewer, uh, fewer states members per population than others do. And it's not fair that some people live in rotten boroughs where there are no elections or uncontested elections. Fairness is a fundamental component of democracy, and that is what we're imploring you to demand from our electoral commission. Democracy doesn't simply evolve into being, it has to be fought for and won. And so this is why Reform Jersey has been set up, because this is something that needs to happen for the interests of everyone in the island. It's our view that the best and fairest way to compose a state's assembly, bearing in mind those three principles, will be to have one type of states member, elected in a multi-member constituency with the same population. That last point is the key point, the same population for each constituency in the island. This will mean that every islander is going to have the same say in how the island is run, no matter where they live, and they'll have the maximum say that's practically possible. And the, pe and the people of Jersey deserve nothing less to have an equal and fair say. So we hope that whatever your politics may be, you can agree with these principles, and what we're imploring you to do is to write into the Electoral Commission say you're, you want to demand a system that has those three principles so that that can eventually be put to the public in a referendum and we can happily vote for it with no, um, with no objections. Um, so tonight we have a uh, panel of, of speakers um, who are going to put forward their views. Um, some are members of Reform Jersey, some, are, some aren't. Um, the first speaker we're going to have is Deputy de Harissier, who is not a member of, Refer of Reform Jersey but a supporter of it. He uh, led the debate on the amendment to the P5 proposition earlier in the year, which was the, uh, which was the proposition that was put forward that specifically made the Electoral Commission lose its independence and have states members on it, which, um, as far as you could gauge public opinion at the time, was a very unpopular thing, and it was Roy that led this. 
Um, I was listening to the whole proceedings in the States with dismay through most of the debate, but the one, the one highlight was at the very end of Roy's speech, in which he made it clear that he believed people were going to be voting against that because they had vested interests in the outcome. And this is exactly why Reform Jersey is so important, <coughs> because we're, taking the, we're trying to take the decision away from the states and bring it back to the people, which is exactly where it belongs. After Roy, we're going to have um, my friend James Rondell, who is a history and politics graduate. He recently uh, did his dissertation on reform in Jersey, so we thought, well, who better to have than somebody who spent months and months in front of a computer screen with books, interviewing politicians, probably getting bored as anything, working out what's best for Jersey. And then to close, we have uh, former Deputy Daniel Wimberley, who's the man that actually dreamt up the idea of an electoral commission in the first place. He was the man that decided that when a commission was going to be had, it should have no states members on it, and that the states were going to have vested interest in the outcome, so the public needed to be the ones that had the primary role in this, which is what Reform Jersey is about. And then after that, we're hopefully going to open the floor to the public, so you can have your say, you can ask us questions, you can make statements if you like, and, um, and we're hopefully going to have a really interesting night learning what's the best way so we can take back the Electoral Commission for ourselves and make a meaningful reform in Jersey, which is exactly what we all deserve. So, I'll ask Roy to come forward. Thank you.